The Catskill Fly Tires Guild is an organization that upholds a long-standing tradition within the fly tying community, i.e. the Catskill style flies. Since the creation of the guild in 1993, two major changes have occurred that have affected fly tying. First is the use of synthetic tying materials along with some subtle changes in tying methods. Second is the advent of social media, which has provoked a renewed interest within the fly tying community to promote and share the time-honored use of natural materials within the Catskill style. With that said, let's begin to present the Guild's story through the lens of the past, present, and future. The Guild was founded in 1993 by Floyd Frankie and Matthew Vinciguerra. Floyd N. Frankie, PhD, was a past board member of the Catskill Fly Fishing Center and Museum, was president of the Casting Board of Governors, now known as Fly Fishers International, and he worked for five years as an instructor at the Wolf School of Fly Fishing. Matt Vinciguerra was well known for his photography and authorship skills. He was the photographer for Eric Leiser's The Book of Fly Patterns, and further, instrumental in publishing much about fly tying and fishing in the Catskills. These gentlemen put forth a set of goals designed to govern the guild, which remains in full force today. One, preserve, protect, and enhance the Catskill fly tying heritage. Two, work cooperatively to promote the work of present Catskill fly tires. Three, provide a forum for the sharing of information. Four, promote the development of future generations of Catskill fly tires. Let's examine how these four goals are supported today within the Guild. One, the first mission is to preserve, protect, and enhance the Catskill fly tying heritage. This objective is being accomplished by the Guild having developed a formal relationship with the Catskill Fly Fishing Center and Museum, located in Livingston Manor, New York. This working partnership has greatly improved on communications and stewardship of the Catskill traditions. Two, the second mission is to work cooperatively to promote the work of present Catskill fly tires. This is being accomplished by leveraging the capabilities of social media and its contributing tires. The Guild maintains a first-class website, along with presence on both Instagram and Facebook. This goal is further supported with face-to-face -face interactions. For example, tying demonstrations at Guild meetings, booth participation at the fly fishing show, and by an annual open to the public gathering called the Rendezvous. Three, the third mission is to provide a forum for the sharing of information. This is achieved by publishing a world-class newsletter called the Gazette. This PDF newsletter goes out electronically six times per year to over 300 guild members in five countries. Four, the fourth and final mission is to promote the development of future generations of Catskill fly tires. This fourth mission is accomplished with the Guild sponsoring a formal program called Kids on the Fly. Currently, these events take place at various times of the year at the Catskill Fly Fishing Center and Museum. The Guild hopes to expand this program into other locations. Some of you may be unfamiliar with what the Catskills are and what they mean to fly fishing in America. The Catskills have been known for a variety of things over the years. But for our purposes, today it will be known for its series of trout streams that flow through the west central area of New York State, approximately 115 miles northwest of New York City. Originally, the most noted of these streams, and for those which the Catskill style flies were tied, were all within a 50 mile radius of each other. They were the Skahari, the Esopus, the Neversink, the Willowemock, and the Beaverkill. Cecil E. Hecox, noted fisheries biologist for New York and author, wrote a two-part article entitled The Charmed Circle of the Catskills in the March and April 1969 issues of Outdoor Life magazine. This critical piece of history describes the Catskill streams, the state of the industry, and identified the charmed circle of these noted fly fishing locations. In May of 1972, Hecox wrote another article for Outdoor Life entitled The Catskill Fly Tires. In this article, he recognized Thaddeus Norris, Theodore Gordon, 
Rube Cross, the Deddies and Darbies, and Art Flick as the key contributors to the Catskill style of fishing flies. Since the publication of these articles, much has changed in the area, mostly due to the reservoir systems feeding New York City. Fortunately, these reservoir systems have yielded quality fishing throughout the region, including the Delaware River system. This timeline represents the evolution of the Catskill style of tying and those men and women who made significant contributions over that time. Thaddeus Norris, a renowned author, tire, and bamboo rod maker, is known as the father of American fly fishing. Gordon referred to him as Uncle Thad and claimed that his book, The American Angler's Book, was the book of books for many years. Theodore Gordon, was influenced by Norris and two Brits, author H.G. McClelland, who wrote How to Tie Flies for Trout and Grayling Fishing in 1898, and F.M. Halford, the dry fly master of British fly tying. McClelland's book was heralded by the Darbys, Rube Cross, Gordon, Steenrod, Christian, and Ray Smith. Herman Christian was known for tying lightly hackled dry flies, characterized by nice, slim-bodied flies neatly tied, and he had a good relationship with Edward Hewitt. He also finalized the design of the Bumble Puppy Streamer. Roy Steenrod was a close friend and protege of Gordon, credited with inventing the Hendrickson. He did receive tying lessons from Gordon. Rube Cross was reported to be a master of the delicately tied and sparsely hackled dry flies. They were both dainty and deadly. He told the Deddies to get lost when they asked him to show them how to tie. The Darbys, Harry and Elsie, were influenced by Theodore Gordon, Rube Cross, and H.G. McClelland. Along with the Deddies, they contributed greatly to Catskill fly tying's heyday. The Deddies, Walt and Winnie, for a short time worked together with the Darbys, but then went their separate ways. Walt and Winnie are particularly known for dissecting Rube Cross's flies after he refused to show them how to tie. Ray Smith was known as a great fisherman and guide of his time. He was a non-conformer and would purposely go against the tying tradition of the times. For example, he popularized the use of the wet fly. Art Flick was highly influenced by Preston Jennings and in turn has influenced more current day trout fly tires than anyone. In the 1930s, he took three years off from fishing to research local streams, particularly the Skahari. This resulted in his well-known book, Art Flick's New Streamside Guide. Other noteworthy tires of that era that also made contributions to this school of tires were Preston Jennings, John Atherton, and Edward Hewitt. Dave Brandt, who died in March of 2020, is the most heralded and recognized tire of the classic Catskill dry fly. He's the former president of the Catskill Fly Tires Guild, was inducted into the Fly Fishing Hall of Fame, and since 1987 had been a member of the Wolf School of Fly Fishing. Tom Mason, also a former president of the guild, is extremely knowledgeable and a very accomplished and versatile fly tire. John Bonacera, AKA Catskill John, is a great tire and a steady contributor to the Gazette. Mike Valla is a researcher, author, tire, and fly fisher who has made significant contributions to sharing knowledge about Catskill style flies and the founding flies of our era. David Stenstrom upholds the Catskill tradition in Sweden and is a big promoter and supporter of the guild. Al Couchy invented the groundbreaking Comparadun style of tying which is very popular with many Catskill fly fishers and tires. Matt Grobert is an innovative and extremely versatile New Jersey tire and author who as a teen was taught by the Deddies. Umberto Oreglini upholds the Catskill tradition in Italy and has a great selection of Catskill style flies on his YouTube channel, Down by the River. Joe Fox is the grandson of Mary Deddy and part of the Deddy family heritage. He is also a great fly tire, shop owner, and a most knowledgeable Catskill angler. Ricky Bassett worked for Deddy Flies. He's now a commercial tire of his own, with a website predominantly dedicated to Catskill-style flies. 
Mike Vallow's book, Tying Catskill Style Dry Flies, has a copy of Harry Darby's published definition of what constitutes a Catskill Style Dry Fly. The definition calls out the need for the fly to be sparsely tied with the use of wood duck, dun or ginger cock hackle, and with the wings and hackle set back from the eye, leaving a long, clean neck. It also is our opinion that the Catskill dry fly have a sense of symmetry and geometry, supported by its proportions regarding tail and body length, as well as hackle size. For the sake of time and brevity, the examples of Catskill style flies will focus on the dry fly, as it's the most iconic of Catskill flies and the style most often imitated and reproduced. The most iconic and first of these flies to be reviewed is the quill Gordon, invented by Theodore Gordon. It was also known as the Gordon quill and remains the best example of the time-honored Catskill dry fly. The quill Gordon is a great example of Harry Darby's description. For example, the exquisite tail is made by using spade hackle which is only available on full necks and more common on older, top quality necks. The delicate peacock quill body is sometimes secured with very fine gold wire or tying thread. Wood duck flank feather is attached with a figure eight technique and the hackle is typically one and a half times the hook gap. However, this measure can also range from two to three times that depending on the tire. Finally, notice the distance from the eye which was noted in Harry Darby's reference of having a long, lean neck. This allowed for the use of a turtle knot to accommodate gut leaders of the time. Having a long neck remains a time-honored Catskill tradition. Shown here is the female of this mayfly species. It was described in Preston Jennings' book, A Book of Trout Flies, where he gave credit to Roy Steenrod for inventing this pattern. The pink fur from a red fox vixen is the distinguishing characteristic over the quill gourd. It also sports a slightly shorter tail and longer hackling. The red quill is the male version of the Hendrickson and is nearly as iconic as the quill Gordon. Standardized by Art Flick, it's distinguished by its stripped hackle quill and reinforced by white tying thread, then covered with a thin layer of head cement. Earlier versions of this fly, tied by Rube Cross and some British tires, use slate wings and brown hackle to imitate this mayfly. The fly that imitates one of the most sought after hatches in the Catskill waters is the March Brown. It's described in Preston Jennings' book, A Book of Trout Flies, and was standardized by Art Flick. The red fox played yet another role in this fly. This fawn colored fur is now commercially available as the March Brown Shade. What is depicted here are some of the books mentioned during this presentation. There are many more that will contribute to your enjoyment of this great pastime. Contact the Catskill Fly Tires Guild to learn more. To that end, I would like to thank you for your time and please refer to the following internet addresses for gaining access to not only the Guild's website, but its Facebook and Instagram accounts as well.